Hi guys, here I am back in Texas. Good God, I've been in this goddamn gas sucking truck for going on 11 hours and starting to zero in on South Austin, Texas. And what a surprise! It looks like a tornado brewing uh, ahead of me here. And the brewing storm clouds. Here on this gloomy, muggy spring evening. This is Thursday night, uh, April 13th, 2017. So, you know, it's <coughs> as I mentioned before I left, he's bumblefuck. Of course, today, what it is, is the third anniversary. Since Michael Rupert, my number one Humpty Dumpty tribe hero, probably of all times, uh, just decided he'd had enough and stuck a, a uh, gun in his mouth and blew his brains out. So, anyway, I've been spending a lot of time, I've had a lot of time to think driving through all the goddamn oil fields and CAFOs and cattle ranches and petrochemical plants and good God Almighty uh, think about my think about brother Michael and uh, and anyway just 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 thinking about Mike and why it you know just trying to figure out what he was thinking when he put that gun in his mouth and pulled that trigger and I don't know guys <clears throat> you know I guess that's one answer that's one answer I hope it's not the the answer uh, that, that any more of my Humpty Dumpty tribe heroes will choose but you know I'm not going to blame them if they do from this point forward but anyway as I've been thinking about Michael, I've just, you know, just come up with a couple of rants that I want to get off my shoulders, and since I, I don't know what my own schedule is going to be in my crazy Michael Rupert uh, trail through life over the next couple of weeks, so I just wanted to get these rants off my shoulders because I've been meaning to and just haven't had the time and I'm just sitting here trying to stay awake <clears throat> so I thought I would sit here and <coughs> blab into the universe talk to myself and my little dog just to stay awake but anyway one rant I want to talk about is cherry picking cherry picking uh, Michael Rupert frequently being accused of the clue by the clueless fucking morons of cherry picking uh, Guy McPherson always being accused of the crime of cherry picking and I must say uh, Hambone Littletail more and more being accused of the crime of cherry picking that uh, eco-nazis and doom and gloomers that the reason we're so gloomy and doomy is because we only look at the most doom and gloom of these scientific reports and, and everything else, every other sign of the end times, that we just spend all of our time looking at the worst case scenarios and just ignoring all of the positive information coming out about saving the planet. And uh, if we would just ignore the eco-Nazi cherries, then maybe we would not go around being depressed collapsitarians and uh, making people uh, you know, walk to the other side of the street when they see us coming and you know, sticking guns in our head and blowing our brains out and shit. If we just would stop paying attention to those uncomfortable little, you know, those, those, those reports that 
maybe things are worse than uh, than people are saying. So, you know, I, I don't really get this shit about cherry picking. I, you know, I, I can just speak. I, I can't speak for Michael Rupert anymore, and I and I can't even speak for for Guy McPherson uh, either on this. I can only speak for him on a little tale. I am a doomsday prophet and an environmental alarmist and the chronicler of the long overdue collapse and fall of global industrial civilization. But particularly being an alarmist, uh, no shit Sherlock, I am going to pay attention to the eco-Nazi cherries that, uh, that Michael Rupert uh, paid attention to. You know, when he was doing the math. Uh, so, so what are these? What what are these people suggesting? Like, I did a rant last week. What's this guy's name? Dar Jamal. He's uh, one of the one of uh, one of uh, Guy McPherson's disciples. Probably a big fan of Michael Rubin Also, so Dar. Uh, was writing in Truth Dig about the methane bomb. And so what he did, you know, he took issue with people like um, Paul Beckwith and the U.S. Geological Service claiming that there is no such thing as the methane bomb. So what he did is, is he did a review of the literature. And he turned up, I'm thinking, in, in his review, going back, he went back about five years, I believe, looking through the, the literature on, on the, the methane bomb debate. And he found, I think it was about a dozen examples, a dozen peer-reviewed scientific journals written by teams of, of university-trained climatologist and geologist and whoever it is that looks at methane bombs and he found that there's plenty uh, of people publishing in peer-reviewed scientific journals who, who think there's a goddamn methane bomb blowing on this planet not one methane bomb but but two methane bombs one under the ocean and one uh, in the melting permafrost on land uh, so of course a, you know, so I read that article, and, and here come these little whatever, I don't know what they are, these apocalyptists, I guess, and, you know, talking about how full of shit Darja Mail is, or anyone else, uh, who pays attention to any, uh, any evidence that might lead them to a non-rosy conclusion. So, so what are you saying? That uh, we just throw out, we just throw out uh, the information that is out there by more and more people uh, coming in with, with more and more of this information that we are so fucked that we just throw it out. We just ignore it. We don't pay attention to the uh, the university trained scientist. Uh, there you go. And you will not be a doom and gloomer. You won't be an eco Nazi. There, you know. I mean, how, how can you how can you argue with that? Uh, and, and I'm sure. For, for every one uh, of these reports on the uh, on one end of the spectrum, you can go and find like that recent USGS report about the methane bomb that there's no such thing. There's no such thing. I go back to sleep. There is no methane bomb blowing. I am an environmental alarmist. I think the situation is alarming. I think it is a hell of a lot more alarming than uh, most people think it is. Uh, am, am I quite ready 
to uh, to stick a gun in my head like Michael Rupert did three years ago today and, and blow what's left of my damn eco-Nazi brain out of the back of my head. And, you know, not yet. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm keeping track. I'm chronicling it. But as I chronicle the uh, long overdue collapse and fall of global industrial civilization, uh, I'm finding more and more of, of these alarming eco-Nazi cherries ripening on the tree. Uh, with, with each passing year, uh, I'm finding more and more of these, and it's getting damn harder and harder to ignore. And, uh, and all I can say is, uh, after doing this for, you know, for six years uh, uh, of being down in this rabbit hole, I am more convinced than I have ever been after looking at the handwriting on the wall that, uh, that Michael Rupert and, uh, and the rest of the gang are looking at uh, that we're fucked. You know, as I say, was the main difference in the past six years is I no longer need to go on uh, Michael Rupert's or Guy McPherson's or uh, the, the usual gang's uh, web pages and YouTube channels and whatnot anymore to find this information. It's smeared all over goddamn Yahoo News every morning uh, when I turn on my computer. Anyway, uh, this is your, just your unrepentant, uh, unapologetic, eco-Nazi cherry picker uh, who's willing to look at the truth with a capital T and not just willing to ignore these cherries that all of these fucking clueless moron apocalyptivists uh, just wish would go away. Anyway, I'm uh, coming into lovely Fredericksburg, Texas, and I'm gonna wrap up this rant, come back with one more that I've, that Michael Rupert has uh, led me to. Bye, guys.